Water, just go away. Go ruin someone else's wine far away from me. This is pure wine. Catullo, 84 before Christ. <laughs> Gaius Valerius uh, Catullus. <laughs> this is Latin, and this is Catullo, one of the greatest poets ever. It's 84 before Christ, when uh, Catullo is born uh, in uh, Novare, so right where the Bertani winery is located. This wine is named after uh, Catullo. Um, it's a ripasso, Valpolicella ripasso. Ripasso means to pass over, to go over twice. What? Over what? Over the pomace. So in other words, what happens is this. You're gonna make a Valpolicella, classico, okay? Like a red wine. And then you wait for the 120 days of the grapes of the Amarone. So when the Amarone is gonna be made, the leftover pomace is gonna be used for the Valpolicella that is gonna go through those grapes. And as a result, you have a little bit more sugar residual, a little bit more aromatics that are grabbed from, from the Amarone juice. And on the nose, this wine comes out with a lot of uh, um, um, vanilla, sweet spices, um, beautiful cherries and the spirit. And there is a uh, complexity that reminds me of tobacco and uh, leather. Actually, I love the nose of this wine a lot. So after the fermentation, the wine is gonna go through some big oak cask for a year. So the result is this very intense and yet light and refreshing red. This wine loves uh, dark chocolate, beautiful stewed meat, but also some pasta with ragu. I think it's gonna be perfetto. For more tips, tricks and love, follow our social media, subscribe to our channel, and <laughs> drink some good wine.